Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jahan, in case you're new. Today's reading is going to explore your sex appeal and who you are attracting. Always use your intuition when you're picking options. Timestamps will be listed down below. If you would like your very own personal reading, you can check out my website. It's www.jahantaroshop.com. And all of that information will also be linked down below as well. Please remember these are readings for a ton of people, so just ignore what doesn't resonate. And other than that, I hope you guys enjoy the reading. Let's take a look at your sex appeal and who you are attracting. These readings are meant for the collective, so per usual, ignore what you feel doesn't resonate. So let's jump right in. Let's see. I'll put the bigger cards on top so you guys can see better. So we have to start off with the High Priestess. Um, the Millennial Edition is the Festival Goer. And this is Qualities, Aesthetic, Friendly, Sensational, Hydrated. <laughs> so there's something about you that is I'm hearing luster for some reason there's this glowiness about you so some of you could have really really good skin or this is how people view you this is what people find really sexy about you something about your energy is just very sensational to say description it says your lust for movement love and EDM helps you form new connections but remember that much of life happens between the peaks of headliners are you dancing in the quiet between sets? Place porta potty line, totem, LED onesie. We have the Nine of Cups. Cancer, the doula, filling, sympathetic, comforting, nostalgic, protective, intuitive, birthing, tender, nocturnal, caring, moody, receptive, lunar, sentimental, introverted, defensive, family oriented. So maybe you could either be a cancer have a lot of cancer in your chart or you could also be attracting a cancer pisces or scorpio but i feel as though for some of you guys you could be very feminine um whether you're a man or woman you really have this feminine energy that is really sexy some of you are uh, introverted you keep to yourself you mind your own business like you literally just mind the business that pays you and people find it's very very attractive you're very refined very reserved very intuitive some of you um if you don't already work doing something in women like if you don't already work doing doing something in reference to women's reproductive health or women in general you would be really really good doing something in that realm just because of your intuitive 
your intuitive nature you're someone who's very very nurturing very tender very gentle and very family oriented we also have the eight of swords reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life so you're you could be attracting someone from your past someone in your past can't seem to get you out of their energy or can't seem to get you off of their mind and then last but not least we have the ace of wands make sure these are all lined up <laughs> Some of you have really great legs, really, really long, beautiful legs. You like to wear shorts maybe in the summertime or you wear uh, dresses, skirts. Some of you like to wear white. And you switch up, if you're someone who switches up your look and your hair a lot, the, you know, people find this very, very sexy, very attractive. Some of you, you do your hair, you wear your, like, I'm, like, you switch your hair up a lot. Sometimes you have it, you know, maybe you're the kind of person that wears wigs and extensions or you dye your hair, but I definitely feel as though you're very stylish and people find this very attractive. And also something about your body, whether you work out or not, something about your body, your physique, people find very attractive. And something about your creativity, you, you could be someone who's very outgoing with this festival goer. Even if you feel like you're introverted, people, you don't, you don't really seem like it to people. Or maybe, you know, there's a happy balance where, you know, it's like the best of both worlds. You're someone who, you know, you're down to earth. You're someone who's very relatable, but at the same time, you can also be an introvert as well. You know when to, you know when to give and you know when to pull your energy back. And people find this very, very um, sexy. I'm hearing subdued. And I also feel as though for a lot of you guys, you could be a tarot reader as well, or you could be a psychic or have some sort of talent or gift. Some of you with this festival goer, you, uh, if you don't already like go like what am I trying to say if you don't like already go to festivals or like do events like for instance so like if you're a tarot reader if you don't already do festivals and like weddings and stuff like that you have the potential to do so or like if you're someone who has your own band for instance if you sing you could you could like literally start singing at weddings or on cruise ships and shit like that I don't know but I definitely feel as though um, whatever it is that you do is very unique or maybe you have some sort of es esoteric or occult knowledge that you incorporate into whatever it is that you do or you have the potential to do so so people find this very very attractive you're very very creative and someone from your past someone with this reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life someone from your past this could be someone you went to high school with middle school someone from your old neighborhood um, for some of you, this is someone you've already you've already had an intimate relationship with, so you guys have already had sex. But either way, I feel as though whether you guys have already been intimate or not, this person like thinks about you a lot, and they're very drawn to you because you can see the devil lurking in the back. <laughs> so this person has a lot of naughty thoughts for you, and they think about you a lot. This person really likes your boobs and your butt, and if you have like they like your waist as well. They think your waist is really tiny whether and your whether you think your waist is tiny or not in their mind they, they just like your your body they think you're very curvy um and this person is really really attractive too like this person is really tall really muscular and this person just wants to come up from behind you and just hug you and love on you and like look at her she's like literally in heaven <laughs> So that's funny and the ace of wands is like a phallic image so this person again has a lot of lust and sexual energy towards you what the it looks like a phoenix to me and it's crazy um this deck personally i resonate with it so much because like my my finger tattoos and like look 
whether those that's tattoo or henna but either way um, some of you could have finger tattoos or tattoos on your hand or henna or you wear <coughs> excuse me or you wear really unique jewelry and you know this is something that people find sexy or attractive about you but with this phoenix on this card for some of you i feel as though you may have underwent some sort of physical transformation <coughs> excuse me so for instance if you've been working out um if you've been on some sort of new regimen it's starting to show i feel as though there's some there's been some sort of transformation especially if pe people from the past notice this about you or this person from the past has noticed this about you and they find that very very sexy you've like managed to transform yourself with this phoenix energy because the phoenix rises from the ashes so to speak so but let's get some charms for some of you this is someone you've been thinking about and it's because this person thinks about you so you possibly could be picking up on their energy especially if you're someone who's really really intuitive especially if you've been thinking about someone from your past out of nowhere all right so i'm gonna pull some charms letters of course can represent initials for people places or things so let's see roll dice get some more letters all right so we have number one some of you could be seeing a lot of ones one 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 eleven eleven the next day week or month could be significant for you and the number one in tarot is actually the magician card the magician card is all about manifestation so some of you could be using the law of attraction to create your own reality or spirit is saying that you have everything at your disposal to get what you need so for instance if you've been broke complaining about money you can like literally use your creativity to start your own online business for us for instance and manifest money you know you have the resources there for you you know our ancestors a hundred years ago couldn't get online and create their own online shop you can you know so Spirit is saying, don't sit there and complain about things you can fix. If you don't like something about yourself or something or a circumstance, fix it, you know? And I see a lot of you guys doing so. We have, for letters, we have the letter G-E-I-E-R-O-X-C-X. Some of you, this could be an X. And I'm just telling you what, what I see. You don't have to take an X back, especially if they're toxic. Forget that. I know I don't want my X, so... I feel you so we know don't don't leave you know <laughs> don't leave novels in the comments we know you don't have to take your ex back I'm just telling you that an ex could possibly be wanting you back or someone from your past could also be wanting you back so we have Virgo and then Pisces so you or the person you're attracting could be a Pisces some of you I feel as though you're, you're gonna end up having options but you're gonna end up choosing one out of these options obviously we have some of you may end up dealing with the virgo and a pisces but i definitely feel as though you're someone who's very practical and intuitive and whoever you're dealing with they find this very sexy about you we have all these nuts <laughs> Ooh, oh oh i just yeah this yeah they want a nut in you oh my god well 18 18 <laughs> yeah Some of you could be Canadian or the person you're dealing with could be from Canada or uh, anywhere tropical. So I feel as though there could possibly be travel tour from a tropical or warm climate or this person you're attracting wants to take you on a vacation, possibly to Hawaii or somewhere tropical. Interesting. And for some reason, the leaf and the... Um, the nuts is giving fall vibe so from whenever you happen to view this fall could be relevant the autumn fall some of you with this star some of you could be really really popular or dealing with someone who's really really popular or even famous be it on a small or large scale or a social media fame or popularity and something about saturn some of you could be going through your saturn return solar return Something about your next birthday possibly could be relevant as well. And then for letters again, we have uh, G X R F. Uh, excuse me, G X E R I O E. I accidentally said F, so maybe you were meant to hear that. So this is what I'm picking up for you guys. Um, 
Some of you within the next month or possibly the next year could also be relevant. Maybe this is when you're going to end up having to choose between two people. But this is who you're attracting. This is what I, I see for you. Let me know in the comments if this was your storyline. Infinite abundance as always. And you guys will see me in your next reading. Bye. All right, let's take a look at your sex appeal and who you are attracting. Remember, these readings are for the collective. So per usual, ignore what you feel doesn't resonate. So jumping right in, we have the devil. We have the five of pentacles. We have the devil again. <laughs> we have nerf no destiny. Focus. Can I focus? I'm trying to make it focus for you. Soul school, learning curve, fulfillment, purpose, maturing, experience, fruition, North Star process. Development, practice, path, begin, blossoming, becoming, integrity, integrity, and journey. Dang. There you go. All right. Flirt, ex uh, extend your lighthearted energy to others. And last but not least, we have the moon, um, which is the ghoster and the millennial edition. Qualities, mysterious, apathetic, silent, impolite. Description, you move on easily and without hesitation. Your test messages are but a whisper in the night. Are you saving someone for pain or from pain or haunting those that you left feeling invisible? Place, emotionally unavailable, totem, red receipt. Mm. So yeah, this is you. This is you. You just don't care. Even if you do care, you act like you don't care whether you realize it or not and this is sexy <laughs> to people you know you know how they say um scarcity creates demand so by you not constantly being available you not constantly giving people your energy you not constantly giving people your time you know you being able to move on easily without hesitation leaving people on red ignoring people if this is something that you do even if you don't mean to do it maybe some of you you do this unintentionally because you're maybe just so busy or you're just so drained. I don't know, whatever it is. Maybe you're an introvert. You don't feel like dealing with people. But I feel as though this is this turns people on. I feel as though some of you have dealt with people in the past um, where you've ended up ghosting them, whether you meant to or not. And they've been obsessed with you ever since. If you ever had let anybody have some and moved on from them, they, they, you know, they're, they think about it night and day. They're obsessed. You're the kind of person that all of your exes still would want you back. And I also feel as though you you're you have either one or two people in your life with the two devil cards popping up. Some of you, this could even be a love triangle, but I feel as though you feel bound to this person or this person feels bound to you. A lot of lust, a lot of energy. You pick up on this person's thoughts and energies, especially if you're someone who's very intuitive. Some of you, this is someone you feel as though you you were meant to meet. And this person is really, really attractive. This person is very stylish. This person could be into designer and stuff like that. Sneakerhead, fashion, fashionista, or you are. Something about this person's style. Like they just really do it for you or vice versa, or like you guys do it for each other. There's a lot of chemistry with this flirt energy. But I feel as though maybe there hasn't been a lot of communication, little to no communication. And I feel as though you could possibly be attracting this person back into your life or they're trying to manifest you back into their life. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn or you could be a Capricorn, Virgo or Taurus or dealing with one or attracting one. Some of you, whoever this person you're attracting is meant to teach you a lesson. Or if some of you, if you've been ghosted recently, or if you've ghosted someone, or you, if that happens in the future, this is so that someone, either, I feel as though so both parties can learn some of, both parties can learn a lesson from this as part of your, your, your soul school, or as part of your journey. It's part of your experience. You're meant to experience this, this situation. Some of you, I feel as though someone who ignored you and ghosted you and left you on red in the past is going to watch you blossom right before their eyes. And they're going to be 
they're really going to be uh, like they're really going to regret ignoring you this person is going to become very very obsessive with you I feel as though for some of you you felt invisible before you felt left out in the cold before you felt as though nobody wanted you but I see that changing I feel as though with this north no destiny once you come in once you start maturing and you start developing and just really focus on your self mastery your self development just you know trying new things traveling learning new languages starting a business i don't know whatever it is that you do to focus work on yourself some of you i see you working out you know i see you i don't know whatever it is that you do to improve yourself i see that happening and all the people that used to ignore you all the people that used to ghost you i see them all coming back people you even forgot about like i see people coming out of the woodworks like really have we met do i even know you like yeah we met you forgot we talked for like three months and you're like are you sure like i'm you're like you're not even gonna remember these people and for some of you i'm even hearing you're gonna be so unrecognizable like your development and transformation is part of your destiny it's gonna happen it may not happen when you want it to but i see it coming so if this hasn't already manifested for you it's coming some of you also feel as though you're taking time out, you're isolating yourself to just work, work on yourself. If not, spirit is urging you to do so. I see, you know, just get off social media. You don't have to tell everybody your business. You don't have to announce your self-development journey. I see you working out, you know, in secret or, you know, low key, just learning or doing whatever it is that you do to, to better yourself. And eventually, whatever it is that you've been trying to manifest all of your desires are going to come into fruition again it's part of your 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 birthright it's part of your destiny it's part of your journey <clears throat> i definitely feel as though you're going to end up manifesting two or three people a lot of flirty energy i see you going like i see you going from like I'm hearing from zero to hero so going from being ignored getting no play phone being dry as hell the only, notifi uh, the only notification that pops up is letting you know that you need to charge your battery type shit or like that your uh, storage is full. I hate that shit. <laughs> but like you're going to go from that to like your phone blowing up. You're not even having time to respond to people. Like you're going to start, you're going to be so, like, you're going to be like a heartbreaker, not even intentionally type shit because you're just going to be so preoccupied with yourself because you're going to have so much going on for yourself and so much, so many suitors that you're not going to have time to respond to, you know, people who aren't at the top of your priority list. You know what I mean? Some of you might may even come to a point in life where you're so busy where people are going to have to go through an assistant to get to you type shit, you know? So just have patience. But some of you guys definitely see you attracting, like I said, two to three people. You're going to have options. Very attractive people too with, you know, very endowed. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Third leg, you know? <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna pull some charms. Letters can represent initials for people, places, or things, of course. You know, this is for YouTube, so I try not to get too, too explicit. <laughs> All right, so let's see. And I'm gonna roll the dice. Wow, you got a lot, a lot of letters. Let's see. Oh, so you got number 20. Hmm. Number 20 is the judgment card. So yeah, I definitely picking up on strong past life energy. I definitely feel as though a lot of people from your past, I see a lot of people from come from your past coming back, past lovers, past friends. You know, like like I said, people coming out from the woodworks, people who ghosted you, you know try coming back for a second chance and i see the ball in your court you know also i feel as though major awakenings people are going to realize what they had you know you never miss a good thing until it's gone for letters you literally have x so, so for some of you have an x coming back again i'm just telling you what i see you can't get mad at the weather lady for telling you it's going to rain right so <laughs> Don't shoot the messenger. We have X N T Y I K V J F L G I W B N 
Q-U-F-F-K-Q-E-W. See if you can spell some letters with that. Maybe write them all out and play with that because you guys got a lot of letters. We have Virgo. You could be a Virgo. Have a lot of Virgo in your chart dealing with the Virgo. Virgo season could be significant or relevant for you. Virgo is August 23rd through September 22nd. Shout out to all the Virgos. I'm a Virgo August 31st. So you're someone who's very, very practical and people find it very, very sexy. We have a seashell. Like mermaid vibes. <laughs> Especially with the fish fin. And we all know how mermaids are, like how they're depicted. You know, they're very curvy. They're pretty, half naked. Maybe some of you put really sexy pictures on social media and this people find this alluring and sexy. Some of you have really long wavy hair. Or maybe you're the kind of person who like dyes your hair like in those mermaid-esque colors. So like the purples and the lilacs and the light pinks and stuff like that. Maybe you could be into music or maybe you have someone, a musician or artist who is watching you. With this Bambi, some of you have really pretty eyes. People find very attractive. Some of you also, I feel as though something about you is very like gypsy-like or exotic or you have this like an unconventional beauty that people find very sexy. And people see you as abundant or they see you as a potential to have a lot of abundance. And people also see you as very wise and find this very sexy as well. And you could also like animals. With the kitty energy, some of you, you know, maybe, like I said, you're very sexy. And something about your hair, the way you do your hair, the way you wear your hair, people find very sexy. And the way you carry yourself, the way you walk. Because like cats remind me of like a cat walk. So something about the way you strut or the way you walk. Some of you could literally be models. I'm hearing Instagram model or models of any sort, hand model, I don't know. Or people see think that you could be a model because you're beautiful. And like a lot of aquatic vibes, because we have the turtle and then we have the fish fin and then with the seashell. People see as very, very abundant as well. 20 days, something about the next 20 days or the, the rest of the year could be significant for you. So the rest of 2020, I feel as though could be positive for you and know that you are protected. And you have a really good taste in music. People find this attractive or sexy. Or like I said, maybe you're someone who sings or dance. All right, so let me know in the comments if this was your story. Infinite abundance as always, and you guys will see me in your next reading. Bye. All right, we're going to take a look at your sex appeal and who you're attracting. Remember, these are readings for the collective, so per usual, ignore what you feel doesn't resonate. So jumping right in, we have the Empress. Nice, one, one, one. I'll put these down here because it's kind of small. We have the Seven of Chalices. Water, Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, either you or whoever it is that you're currently attracting. Wow, we have the tower. We have the numinous mystery, the unknown, unknowable, ESP, psychic abilities, the cosmo, universal truth, oneness, source, the unnameable, shadow work, inner knowing, tingling, ghosts, other world, space, enigma. Enigma is the occult and intuition. <laughs> Insta famous, the sun. Last but not least, we have free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. All right, <clears throat> so your sex appeal is your femininity, your style, your creativity with this Empress card. The Empress card, at least to me, speaks of creativity. Excuse me. Typically, the Empress is all of the queens wrapped up in one. She's the CEO of the deck, the entrepreneur. She's someone who's very stylish, very attractive. Sometimes she's even a mother. And in certain decks, she's depicted as being pregnant. So for some of you, you could already have a child. Um, or people, people see you as someone who's very nurturing. And they feel like you would be a really, really good parent. And they find this very sexy. This is part of your sex appeal. Others of you, maybe there's something that you're nurturing. So maybe if you do something in a creative capacity, 
capacity. For instance, if you own your own business, I feel as though you put a lot of time, energy, and effort into your businesses and your projects, and people find this very, very sexy. They find this, um, they have a lot of adoration for you. And again, they like your style. Maybe you're someone who's very feminine. Um, whether you're a man or a woman, I definitely feel as though you're really in tune with your feminine side, and this is very sexy about you. Some of you wear red lipstick, because I noticed it looks like she has like on a lip stain. Not super red, but like she has on red lipstick. So maybe some of you guys wear red lipstick or the way you wear your makeup or just in general, the way you guys um, put yourself together is just really sexy, really attractive. Like I said, you have really great style. You have really great hair. Um, you wear really pretty jewelry. Some of you like to wear uh, really pretty prints, floral prints or really pretty patterns or fabrics. There's this... Uh, there's this regal, like, this, like, there's, you you come off as very regal in your style, but you also know how to, like, tone it down. Even when you're casual, you still look really cute. With this Insta Famous, some of you could have a really large Instagram following. Shout me out if you do, Jahan Terrell. Tell your followers to come and check my channel. I'm just playing. But um, some of you could have a really large, even if it's not Instagram, maybe you have a really large social media presence. Um, depending on whichever platform you use. So even if it's YouTube, maybe you have a, a ton of subscribers or maybe you're someone who's really popular, be it on a large or small scale. So I feel as though for this, whoever chose this option, specifically, you have a lot of admirers. You have a lot of people who have their eyes on you. And with the sun energy, you literally glow. Like people notice you um, for whatever it is that you do in a creative capacity. They also notice you for your style and your beauty. Some of you with the numinous, you do something... Um, and the occult, you have some sort of esoteric or occult knowledge, or you come off as very, very mysterious. Some of you could wear amethyst, or there's a need for you to work with amethyst. Some of you with the uh, ESP psychic abilities in the cosmo, maybe you f you're connected to the divine. Maybe you're into divination, you could have psychic abilities. Or maybe you're just someone who's into like conspiracy theories, ghosts, and um, you know, the occult, like I said, and maybe you you even post about this on your social media, or like I said, maybe you have a blog or um, a website, or maybe your profile is centered around whatever it is that you do in a creative capacity. And people feel as though you've really managed to free yourself from the, from the matrix, so to speak, or you've really managed to free yourself. I'm hearing like, you're, you, if if this is this, if society's in a circle, you're outside of that circle. Like you're, you, you, you think outside the box. You're different. There's a lot of mystery to you. People see us very eccentric, very unique. It's almost like I'm hearing when when people come across you or encounter you, you're unlike anybody else they've ever met. And this is something they find very, very sexy. Some of you also like to wear sunglasses or like I said, you always accessorize yourself. I noticed there are a ton of 48s in her on her shirt for whatever reason. So for some of you, the number 48 could be significant, something about the number 48. For some of you, you could literally be 48, or maybe for some of you, when you turn 48, this will be a very pivotal time in your life once you turn 48. So um, with the seven of chalices, a lot of people daydream about you, but I feel as though you have a ton of suitors. You have up to seven people who are currently interested in you, who have a crush on you, who admire you. I'm also hearing Facebook for some of you. For some of you, if you if you don't have Facebook, then that's not the message. Just ignore it. But for those of you who have Facebook, you have someone on Facebook specifically, or you have a ton of suitors on either Facebook or Instagram specifically. And because this card is rare, for some of you, I feel as though you have a ton of admirers um, on YouTube. If so, if you have YouTube, I feel as though you get a ton of admirers, not even just... Yeah, they admire you for whatever it is that you do creatively, but I also feel as though you even have romantic uh, romantic suitors, people who are interested in you romantically, who are crushing on you. And I feel as though with this free yourself, uh, to clarify the tower card, um, Spirit is wanting you to take back control of your life. Maybe some of you may struggle with self-esteem issues, body dysmorphia, second-guessing yourself, anxiety, um, stress, fear, worry. Spirit is saying free yourself from that energy because I feel as though with this tower card, if you don't free yourself and put yourself out there on your own, Spirit will do it for you. So for instance, if you're someone who's very, very attractive and maybe you've been getting a ton of messages and tarot readings that, hey, you're really pretty, you're very attractive, you're very dope, you're creative, do something with it, put yourself out there. If you don't because you keep second guessing yourself and you're shy and you're scared or whatever, eventually there's going to be something that happens major 
that's going to be beyond your control that's going to end up putting that it's kind of like let's say you're behind the curtains on stage right and like everybody behind stage all your cast members like go on go on it's, it's your time to come go on stage go and like they're pushing you're like i can't i'm i'm scared i have stage fright and then finally they just rip back the curtains and you have no other choice but to perform that's the kind of energy i'm picking up for you with this tower card and for yourself so spirit is saying if you don't ultimately put your gifts and talents and yourself out there with the sun card so that you can be admired we're gonna do it for you <laughs> And this is quality, self-involved, known, shallow, on fleek, descriptions, filtering your self-image to perfection, may compel others to follow you. Remember that the only comments that matter are your, are your own. Will you limit your story to what got likes yesterday or will you live unedited place? Far from candid, totem, hashtag game. So yeah, I'm picking up uh, heavy social media vibes for this pile. And I also feel as though for a lot of you guys, the person you're going to end up attracting or whoever's, whoever you're currently attracting from whenever you happen to watch this video could also be someone who has a lot of Instagram or social media fame or influence. It could be an influencer or someone who watches you through what you do on social media. I feel as though this person, you and this person have shared the same hobbies and same interests and this is how they came across you. And with this tower card, I feel as though when this person, it's like the, the first time this person either saw you, your, saw your picture, saw you on video, heard your voice, it was like, you it blew them away. It was kind of almost like this recognition where it was like love or like at first sight. And this person, I feel as though really wants to get to know you. And this person daydreams about like, you know, uh, loving on you. And this person also really likes your body, sp specifically your chest area, your boobs. They think you have really pretty boobs if you're a female watching this. So let's get some charms. If you don't already have a large social media following, I'm hearing you're going to blow up um, through something that you do. So something that you do creatively is going to bring amass you a large following. All right, so charms, letters, of course, can represent initials for people, places, or things. So let's see your sex appeal and who you are attracting see if we can get some extra confirmation we have number one number one to me rep signifies new beginnings or represents new beginnings so i feel as though some of you guys you're going to end up having a new beginning with someone or someone wants a new beginning with you. You may end up hearing from this person within the next hour, the next day, the next week, the, mo the next month. For some of you, I feel as though within the next year, there's going to be some sort of new beginning, possibly in um, reference to your love life. For letters, we have Q, G, R, B, M, L, P. Some of you could also be seeing a lot of ones. We have this little ship wheel, whatever they're called. What's this? A flower? Interesting. We have a rose. We have a mermaid. We have a little dragon. Some of you could be born in the year of the dragon. We have a carrot. We have a bicycle. We have a half crescent moon and heart. We have a little rose quartz bead. Some of you, there might be a need for you to work with rose quartz. We have a star and then we have, what are these, acorns? All right, what some sort of nuts. I feel as though whoever you're attracting sees you as wifey husband material or they see you as someone they can have children with. Again, with the star, someone sees you as a star or you could be attracting someone who's a star who has a lot of popularity. Something, this person sees you as out of their league. And I also feel as though you may even be feeling like this person's out of your league. But I, I definitely feel as though under the half crescent moon, you have love coming. Maybe this is when this person's going to, you'll hear from this person. I'm picking up on Aquarius vibes with this star. Some of you with this carrot, you're going to end up getting gold, a gift of gold. Someone wants to give you gold. And with this rose, maybe roses and a, maybe a ring or some sort of jewelry. With the mermaid vibe, again, water sign, energy, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, you are the person you're dealing with. But I also feel as though, you know how mermaids, they have like really sexy bodies. So again, whoever you're attracting will really, really like your body, no matter how you, you look. Even if you're self-conscious, I feel as though this person is going to like your body nonetheless. Again, work with some rose quartz. 
Um, but with the Rose Quartz energy, Rose Quartz is all about love. So I definitely feel as though you're going, to, you're attracting right now someone who's going to love you. Like I said, you have plenty of suitors and plenty of people who are crushing on you and have their eye on you. But there's going to be one main one. Maybe this person with this uh, will, the ship anchor or whatever, I feel as though maybe this person could be at a distance or they could be from a different um, country, cultural background, race or ethnicity. But yeah, this is what I'm picking up for you guys. Let me know in the comments if this made any sense. Infinite abundance as always, and you guys will see me in your next reading. Bye. All right, let's take a look at your sex appeal and who you are attracting. Remember, these are readings for the collective. So per usual, just ignore what you feel doesn't resonate. So jumping right in, we have Saturn, wisdom, discipline, structure, time, responsibility, test, ambition, difficulty, restraint, grounding, practicality, self-control, tradition, realism, container bones, maturity, gravity, scaffolding. I'm hearing some of you look really good for your age. This is how you're... You, this is how you are being perceived or this is how people see you and they find that very sexy or you're someone who's going to age really, really well. Mm, let's see. We have wedding. Oh, wow. This situation involves marriage. The star, the millennial edition is the soul cyclist. Qualities, healthy, gluten-free, lavish, sweaty. So some of you guys, you take really good care of yourself. Maybe, um, as opposed to just having a diet, maybe it's just, you know, your lifestyle is just to eat healthy, you know? Um, some of you could literally be gluten-free, relatable. Some of you, um, either you already live a very lavish lifestyle or you are well on your way to living a very lavish lifestyle. And I feel as though with the sweaty, some of you guys, um, you work out or you're going to end up starting some sort of new workout regimen. Description, through the trance of rhythmic pedaling, you make inner progress without actually going anywhere. Are you sweating to cleanse your inner critic or to better define your thigh gap? Place, whole foods, totem, kombucha we have the chariot queen of swords and the seven of wands if your birthday is in seven in seven months from when you happen to see this i feel as though there's going to be some sort of major movement forward for those of you specifically whose birthday is in seven months from whenever you happen to see this let me know in the comments if that's that if that's your storyline for some of you the number seven could be significant or relevant as well but i feel as though your sex appeal is the fact that you take really good care of yourself. You take really good care of your body, your skin, your hair. You're very stylish. Like even if you're working out, like even your workout outfits match. They're cute. You know what I mean? And people find this very sexy. Some of you also have this edgy, edginess to you that people find very alluring or very sexy. You could be from a very large city or I feel as though eventually there's going to be movement from either to or from a large city or from one large city to another. I'm, I'm hearing like Chicago, New York, like a major city movement to or from, or you could be dealing with someone or attracting someone from a city like this. I feel as though they're, you know, you, you spend, you spend your time wisely or people just, you just come off as someone who's very responsible, someone who's very practical, someone who's very grounded. The energy that you exude just breaks maturity you know what i mean so again i feel as though people see you as someone who looks very good for their age or they feel as though you're very wise beyond your years with the queen of swords some of you could work in the legal system or you're attracting someone who works in the legal system some of you could be attracting a lawyer a doctor someone who works doing anything within the realms of stem which is science technology engineering or mathematics so again maybe you could be attracting a, a science professor or someone who works, you know, as an engineer, I don't know anything within those realms, a coder, a programmer, or this could be you, or you or this person could be into public speaking or writing. Some of you are very intellectual. You could also be very educated. So if you're someone who's educated, you have your PhD, your master's or working on it, people find this very, very attractive or they find this sexy. Or for some of you, you could just be well uh, self-taught. You do a lot of research. You're a researcher. You're very analytical, and people find this very, very sexy. Also, something about your skin, if I didn't already say that, and your shape. Again, you're someone who works out. 
Even if you don't like how you look, something about your stature, if people like it. And if you're someone who doesn't work out, Spirit is, this is motivating you to start working out because Spirit is saying, even though you don't work out right now, people are like, go gaga for your body. So just imagine if you actually did start putting the time into working out, you know what I mean? You know, so Spirit is saying, have some discipline and structure and put some time aside to really work on yourself. And if this doesn't resonate in like working out as in like physical movement, health and wellness, this could be in other areas of your life. So maybe this could be in reference to just self-development and self-improvement in general. The more you improve yourself, obviously, the more sexy and attractive you become. And I feel as though some of you guys, this is, you're already on this kind of um, self-mastery journey. And with the star card, I feel as though with the star, you're being seen as a star. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or you yourself could be any of those signs or have a lot of that in your chart. But I, I get the sense that ultimately, whoever it is that you're attracting is going to want to marry you. They're going to want to commit to you if you don't believe in marriage. But uh, it literally says wedding. This situation involves marriage. Some of you white roses could be synchronistic for you. Yeah, you see how like if you look in the background, you can see the sit uh, the city line, and the same with her. So something about a large city. If you don't, so I definitely feel as though there could be either you already live in a city, a large city, or there's going to be movement to a large city, or you're going to end up attracting or dealing with someone um, from a large city. Some of you, if you travel to a large city, this is when you're going to end up meeting this person. With the Seven of Wands, I definitely I'm picking up on this on the fact that you could be a little bit jaded, you could be a little bit guarded. I'm picking up on this uh, this option. If you're under the age of like 35, you're just someone who's really, really mature for their age. But for a lot of you, I'm picking up, you could be 35 and older or attracting someone like that. Some of you, you have really light blonde hair or wear extensions or get braids that are blonde or balayage or ombre. Or I see you eventually dyeing your hair blonde or like highlights or coloring it or lightening your hair bleaching it or like i said balayage or ombre and something about your saturn return some of you could have been just went through your saturn return that's just no joke i remember uh year, like a couple years ago i went to see a psychic this was when i was still going through my saturn return and she goes man i'm surprised you're still alive <laughs> Yeah, that's just no joke. Definitely Dark Knight of the uh, Dark Knight of the Soul vibes. You've been through a lot, but all it has done is, you know how they say pressure cooks diamonds. It's giving you a hell of a lot of wisdom, and you know that you exude this. People even even without you opening your mouth, people can tell you're just a wise person the way you carry yourself, and you don't seem like the person anyone can get over on. And people find this sexy. Some of you also have this street smarts to you. It's like you're educated, you know, it's like you're really relatable. You know when to be hood, you know when to, you know, so basically you know when to be caring and you know when to be Keisha is what I'm trying to say. So let's pull some charms. Because we all have our inner Karen, okay? And our inner, inner Keisha. So letters, of course, can represent initials for people, places, or things. Number three, I'm gonna get more letters. Do, do, do. All right, Oop, number one for some of you, but number three is what it landed on initially, so I'll go with three. Number three is the Empress card. The Empress card is all about beauty, creativity. Some of you could work in the beauty industry, fashion industry, music industry, or do something in a creative capacity, or you're gonna end up attracting someone like this. Some of you, this could happen within the next three hours, three days, three weeks, it could be significant. And for some of you with this Empress energy, I'm hearing three years from now, I see you sitting on, like, sitting on an empire, or you would have built an empire for yourself. If you know, if you know how they say, wherever attention goes, energy flows. So wherever you, just make sure you're spending your time and your energy wisely, because I feel as though there's going to be major success for you three, three years from now. Like whatever it is that you're working on right now, three years from now is going to 
be massive, like be on your wildest, uh, wildest dreams or imagination is what I'm hearing. So for letters, we have K, V, C, V, K, Y, D, G, G, A, X. Some of you, are, you're uh, an X is trying to get back into your good graces, trying to come back into your life. We also have Aquarius. So some of you, um, you could be Aquarius or dealing with an Aquarius or Aquarius season could be significant. Aquarius season is January 20th through February 18th from whenever you happen to see this. This is a timeless reading. We have a siren or a mermaid. So like mermaids have very sexy bodies. They're very alluring, very seductive. So I feel as though that's part of your sexual appeal or your sex appeal is that you're very alluring, very sexy. This mermaid siren energy. What are these called? Is that a unicorn? No, that's not a unicorn. Is that like a pegasus? Hold on. What are these? What are these? Those horses that fly. A pegasus, yeah. So I don't know what a pegasus means. <laughs> So I don't know, maybe some of you could have had a dream about a Pegasus. Horses that fly. So I feel as though flying. I see some of you flying. Maybe there could be air flight. Or I feel as though I see like flying colors. I see you succeeding at something. Or maybe you're going to be very successful, like I said. Yeah, because look, star. So I feel as though there could be some sort of wish fulfillment. And then look, look at this. This is so cute. Some of you, I feel as though there could be a little project. Like I said, if there's a little project that you're starting, it's going to end up being very successful. Some of you are also going to end up attracting someone who wants children or someone who's going to end up getting you pregnant. Someone's tribal. Either you or someone you're attracting is tribal, indigenous to a certain land or native area. I'm hearing aboriginal. Some of you get hair braids because this is one of the charms I put in my braids when I braid my hair. <laughs> And I was like, let me put one in my charm bowl. And then we have an acorn, fall or autumn could be relevant for some of you. Hibernation. Some of you could be isolating yourself. We have an anchor. So I feel as though there's a change within your physical body. And some of you could also be traveling overseas or dealing or attracting someone from overseas. Something about rain. So the rainy season, autumn. Also, this reminds me of a place where it rains a lot. So like the Pacific Northwest. Some of you live in the Pacific Northwest. Some of you could be Canadian or dealing with someone who's Canadian or attracting someone who's from either the Midwest, the Pacific Northwest, or from Canada. And then last but not least, we have a heart, little heart lock or whatever this is. So this to me kind of represents commitment and love. Someone who wants to lock you down, so to speak. Um, I feel as though this is who you're attracting. And it's because of your sex appeal, because you're so sexy. <laughs> so that's what I'm picking up for you. Let me know in the comments if this made any sense and if this was your storyline. Infinite abundance as always. And per usual, you guys will see me in your next reading. Bye. Let's take a look at your sex appeal and who you are attracting. These readings are for the collective. So per usual, just ignore what you feel doesn't resonate. So jumping right in, we have the seven of discs. We have the Three of Pentacles. We have Capricorn, the boss. Serious, authoritative, ambitious, realistic, structured, traditional, wise, enduring, accomplished, badass, majestic, competent, prepared, down to earth, corporate, reserved, rigid, disciplined. Ooh, engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Um, we have the Emperor, the Millennial Edition is the Fireballer. Qualities, loud, persuasive, raging, turnt, description. Budin Rally is not a phrase, but a way of life. Your insistent voice and boundless energy brings life to the party. You will bring people joy, but will you respect when they do not want to take five consecutive group shots? Place, low key gathering, totem, ox cord. <laughs> I got all this, my greasy fingers and coconut oil. And last but not least, we have the Empress. Nice. Piece of hair. So dusty. Please excuse my crustiness right now. All right. So, <laughs> man, your sex appeal, right off the bat with the Empress card, just your style, your creativity, your beauty, the way you carry yourself, your uh, the way you dress, your makeup, your hair. If you don't wear makeup, it's just, like I say, these are readings for a ton of people. So just ignore what doesn't resonate. But if you don't wear makeup, there's just something about, it's still the way you carry yourself. Some of you like to adorn yourself with hella jewelry. 
Um, some of you, you have this really feminine energy. And the Empress to me is all of the queens wrapped up in one. She's the entrepreneur. She's the mother. She's analytical. She's smart. She's fun when she wants to be. And I feel as though you, you exude this Empress energy and people find this very attractive. People also see you as the life of the party, whether you realize it or not. Even if you feel like you're an introvert and you're like, oh, that couldn't be me. People view you as someone who is a life of the party, someone who's very fun. Or I also get the sense that you're going to eventually attract someone who is, oh my God, I just noticed who is the life of the party. Look, you have the emperor and the empress. So I feel as though you're attracting your divine counterpart, or at least you're going to be attracting someone who you feel is on your level and whoever you're attracting, I feel as though this situation will ultimately lead to a long-term stable commitment or marriage with this engagement card. Cause it literally says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. And not only will you guys end up getting married, but I feel as though there may even be pregnancy involved. And if you don't want to have children, um, maybe you guys will end up getting something that will solidify your connection or your union. So uh, it could be a pet or maybe you guys will end up buying a home together or maybe you guys might end up going into business with each other. I feel as though you guys will end up doing something that will, like I said, kind of bound you together so to speak and with the three of pentacles i feel as though you're someone who's very very hard working um you have this really collaborative nature about you you can work by yourself but you can also work with others and get along with others and people find it very sexy about you for some of you with this three of pentacles energy the person you're going to end up attracting you may end up meeting i'm hearing through a work event or You're going to end up meeting this person through friends, co-workers, colleagues, who possibly you work with or you do business with. This person, oh my God, they're going to, the person you're attracting, oh my God, they're going to be so into you. There's going to be a lot of chemistry. The sex is going to be really, really good. But yeah, this person is going to be very into you. Like, look at how he's like, he don't see nothing else but her. Like, this person is going to want to pick you up and shit. <laughs> Some of you guys, I feel as though this person looks at your pictures a lot. Like if you're someone who posts online or especially if you're someone who likes to pay for professional photo shoots or like this could just be you taking hella pictures and hella selfies. Like we all, you know, have our little bathroom photo shoots. I feel as though whatever pictures you post, this person really, really likes, like this person finds you very attractive. And again, this person wants you to carry their child or wants to put a baby in you. You come off as very serious sometimes, very authoritative, very ambitious. You're very realistic and structured. And something about you comes off as really traditional, whether you realize it or not. You come off as very wise and accomplished. And people see you as a badass. You know, you're not afraid to say say no. You're not afraid to speak your mind, you know. And you don't even do it in like a way where it's like, like you're very poised and like you know how to read somebody really eloquently. You know, you're just really, really rigid and disciplined and reserved. Some of you work in the corporate world or the person you're attracting works in the corporate world. And I just noticed diamonds on this card. So I always say pressure cooks diamonds. So some of you guys, whatever it is that you've been through thus far um, is what has caused you to have a lot of wisdom. Some of you guys with the aux cord, you have amazing taste in music. I feel as though the person you're going to end up attracting is going to be someone who's very loud as well. This person with the turn, this person is going to be love to party, this emperor energy. And like I said, this person you're going to feel as though is on your level. Uh, this person is very, very successful, possibly in the corporate realm or whatever it is that they do. And this person, um, this emperor energy, I feel as though this person like has a lot of guy friends. So I feel as though they're, you know, they're, they're the kind of person that like will go golfing on a Saturday with his buddies or like go to the bar, or, like, you know, shit like that. Go work on the car with his friends, have a man cave and invite his friends over like super frat, frat energy as well. This person you're attracting and this person you're attracting, I feel as though has facial hair. They have facial hair. Um, some of them have like a beard, but because look, look at the two guys. See, this is, is that called a five o'clock shadow? Can you see? It'll where it's not like a full blown beard. 
yeah i had to ask, <laughs> I had to ask my boyfriend but yeah it's not like a full full blown bear but it like you know he still has like a mustache and like you know so i feel like the other person definitely has some sort of facial hair this one he looks like he has that wolverine kind of they had that shit in the 80s and 90s or 80s where they just had the side growing out kind of looks amish or like jewish or some of you might end up with someone who's really really traditional or comes from a family like that or you do some of you could also be of african descent african west african caribbean descent some of you or the person you're attracting and your body something about your body the person you're attracting also likes feet. They have a feet fetish. And I feel as though you're the kind of person that likes to invest in yourself and people find this very sexy. This is part of your sex appeal. But I, I see, ultimately, I see you tending to your garden. I see you nurturing or tending to something. If it's not like a pregnancy, it could be a new project. Maybe this is how you'll meet the person you're attracting. So I'm gonna pull some charms. Letters, of course, can represent initials for people, places, or things. Let's see who you are attracting. Number 18. Something about the number 18 could be relevant. If you're 18, you shouldn't be watching this because this is... Um, wait, yeah, yeah, you can watch this. It's the 18 plus reading. My bad. Okay, so <laughs> you could be 18. Something about the 18 could be relevant. Maybe the person you're dealing with has adult children. 18, you know. Um... The 18th of a month could be significant. So the 18th of January, the 18th of September, the 18th of October, the 18th of August, from whenever you see this could be relevant. The number 18 is the moon card in tarot. So the moon card is about things coming to light, illumination. The full moon could be significant for some of you. Spare the same, pay attention to the, the moon phases. Some of you could be on your period or you're about to get your period pretty soon. And some of you, the next month to four weeks could be significant. One plus eight equals nine. So I feel as though some of you, because 10 represents culmination and completion, I feel as though with nine, you're almost at the end of some sort of cycle in your life. So I feel as though you're on the verge of some sort of change. There's gonna be some sort of, some sort of ending in your life. It could be a mi minor ending of some sorts. We have F-O-G-E-T-T-C-Y-V-V. -V. Maybe this is what, uh, when this minor ending takes place is when you're going to end up meeting this person. We have a Taurus energy and then we have Gemini. So I feel as though right off the bat, you're going to end up having to choose possibly with, between two people, two suitors or two things. I see you attracting two people that you're going to have to um, choose between. It could be a Taurus or a Gemini or they could take on these Taurus and gemini quality so for the taurus i feel as though the taurus is going to be very persistent in pursuing you or the person even if they're not a taurus and they take on this quality they're going to be very persistent in pursuing you they're not going to take no for an answer you're going to know this person's into you and for the um gemini individual or the person who takes on that gemini energy if they're not a gemini i feel as though this person is going to have like multiple personalities like they're going to be someone who switches up a lot on you I feel as though they may even have someone that they're already dealing with on the side. And again, you're going to have another option. But I feel as though this person is going to be really fun. There's going to be something that draws you to this person because they're intelligent. So you're going to like this person's intelligence. This isn't in English. So I don't know what that is. Inquisidor. I don't know. Can you tell me what that means? Is that Spanish or forgive my ignorance, but I digress. Because these charms that I ordered, they accidentally gave me some of the charms in a different language. Okay. All right. So we have a leaf. We have Leo. Some of you, your hair is very sexy. The way you wear your hair, people find very sexy. Something about you is very unique with this unicorn energy. Something about you is also very sexy. Like people see you and like they have this animalistic attraction towards you. Out of respect, they don't act on it. But I definitely feel as though I'm hearing you give people hard ones. Oh my God, this is so vulgar. <laughs> We have a little aqua aura court. Some of you, there might be a need for you to work with some aqua aura. And also use your throat chakra. Some of you, your throat chakra could be blocked. So learn to speak up for yourself. Work on communicating, communicating better. Some of you have curly hair. And pineapples almost remi al almost always remind me of the tropics. There's something about Hawaii or something about the tropics. Maybe there could be travel to or from a tropical place with the bird air flight. 
some of you songbird you have a really pretty voice or people think your voice is sexy yeah and then look with the music note and the, the bird some of you could be musicians into music have a really good taste in music or you could be attracting a musician and some of you spirit is saying have faith never underestimate the power of prayer and positive intention but i also feel as though you could be attracting someone who's really religious or maybe someone um who's very spiritual or you could be very spiritual and cats you know maybe you, the way you walk is very sexy like catwalk so the way you walk people notice and find this find it sexy and again either you do something that's very unique or something about you is very special or very unique or this is how people see you and they think it's sexy and with the leaf some of you smoke weed or you live in a place where cannabis is legal or you could be dealing with someone like that if you smoke weed people find this sexy or it's something about the way you especially like if you work in the cannabis industry all right so this one i'm picking up for you let me know if this made any sense Although cannabis is not a crime, I'm not condoning you. I'm not telling you go do drugs. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just what I'm reading. Because you already know. I am already know some of these comments that people leave are just ridiculous. But I digress. I love you guys. Infinite abundance as always. And you guys will see me in the next reading. Bye.